Security Level 5 Item Number SCP-5735 Object Class Thaumio Special Containment Procedures The connection of SCP-5735 instances to the RB Class Reality Corruption Scenario called the Moneda Event must be fully ascertained to determine their origins and possible motives. Interference with their activities is prohibited. Specialized drones are to be sent to monitor their behavior, particularly as they are partially comprised of replicas of important Foundation sites in the affected areas. Monitor Event Procedures Due to the Monitor Event, 89.4% of the Americas, particularly South and Central America, have been declared off-limits and unrecoverable. Similarly, Foundation personnel and citizens stationed in affected countries are presumed to be lost. Site 19 and Site 34, which are the major bases of operation in the continent, have been abandoned due to the severe reality corruption. The approval of the O5 Council is currently pending for proposals for implementing the Annoy Protocol and the breakdown of the Veil. The approximately 900 million people missing or dead, however, are to be considered by the Council and the Ethics Committee for these proposals. Project Manager is to be committed to researching the causes of the event. A severe data corruption occurred throughout the world after South America underwent a full blackout. The autokinetic properties of SCP-5735-1 instances indicate that the Manador event was caused by a collective outburst of the Americas to critical levels of economic stress, foreign policies deemed to support neo-colonization and deteriorating quality of life. To undertake research on SCP-5735 instances and the event, 550 professional sites and sea barges have been established at safe areas around the continent. Drones and exploration teams sent to the area must be equipped with Class A thaumaturgic protections. Individuals living on or accompanying SCP-5735 instances are to be undisturbed, as their Hume levels indicate considerable levels of instability. Description SCP-5735 refers to Canonian entities resembling green sea turtles, whose carapace lengths range from 0.9 meters to 500 meters. Note, these are the average lengths of the average green turtle and the radius of a standard foundation site. They notably feature slightly deformed replicas of the foundation sites operating before the nature event attached to the shells. Behavioral analysis indicates that SCP-5735 instances do not need sustenance, while they tend to move in tandem with other instances. Unlike green sea turtles, they can travel for indefinitely long periods of time on land. Although they will attempt to locate nearby bodies of water for rest and reproduction. Meanwhile, their average age is only one year, unlike most turtles, and if the site replica on their carapaces becomes too damaged, they cease life functions. They are adept at navigating the heavily cluttered cities and streets of the Americas, which have been filled with skyscrapers composed of trash, business merchandise, books of cash, stationaries, and human flesh. As of 2035, there are approximately 15,000 SCP-5736 instances whose carapaces are longer than 200 meters. Using their claws, each instance demolishes 12 skyscrapers every day. Via a system of pulleys and cables and thaumaturgic tubing found in the site replicas on their back, the instances compact and partially incinerate resulting debris. Processing each skyscraper can take between 30 minutes to 3 hours, depending on the volume. The outcome of each processed skyscraper is usually fertile land resistant to unstable reality changes. Afterwards, 
the SCP-5735 instances will usually burn the bundles of cash they collected and bury the ashes in the soil. Upon processing each skyscraper, each SCP-5735 instance will emit the words Zesso and Di Janeiro in the voices of missing or deceased personnel of the Spanish, Portuguese and English branches. Occasionally, a brown hat will manifest on their head, which will then be absent next day. Areas with severely unstable hume levels are rendered sufficiently habitable for professional sight as SCP-5735 instances pass through them. They additionally pacify SCP-5735-1 instances, which are mobile entities that resemble wooden puppets garbed in clothing belonging to blue-collar and in some cases white-collar workers. The estimated population of SCP-5735-1 instances is approximately 500 million, 10% of which hold signs that state keywords such as economic crisis, we want jobs, no somos us cojos. Note, we are not slaves. Any daddy, a possible daddy, palatoros as cojos. Note, Portuguese for unity and possibility for all businesses. And we are not other countries. Okay. And we are not other countries' dogs. The longest message found on these signs is just because we were weak and does not. Twenty banners were weaved by SCP-5735-1 instances. Fifteen of them represent the countries of the Americas. Update. January 1st. 2100. Most of the Americas have been fully cleaned and removed from the anomalous effects of the Manado event, and 80% of the SCP-5735 instances no longer exhibited activity. However, inhabiting the affected areas is hampered by still existing thaumaturgic residue on the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, causing boats and planes to stop functioning without Class B thaumaturgic protection. 60% of SCP-5735 instances at this point no longer exhibited signs of movement. The rest, however, began to travel toward Mount Yellowstone at extremely rapid velocities. Once they had convened there, they began to coalesce into SCP-5735-2, a colonial entity with a 60-kilometer-long carapest covered with skyscrapers composed of Turtle flesh, foundation site tubing, wiring, and asphalt debris. Massive gears began to appear near SCP-5735-2. Tubes from these gears then manifested, penetrating the carapace of SCP-5735-2. Thaumaturgic activity indicated the presence of bright zinc replicators and machines used for the Ganymede protocol. Note. SCP-2000. At this point, no more drones or exploration teams can approach SCP-5735-2. Our Hume levels began to spike throughout the world. A blackout throughout the Americas occurred, to the point of shutting down ocean barges and aquatic professional sites. Sixteen hours later, satellite data partially confirms the existence of bustling human activity throughout the two continents. The day afterward, Foundation sites from Australia, Spain, and the UK then received the following radio transmission. The turtle, or tortoise, went once more for the human race. Note, this message was repeated in Spanish and Portuguese. As of now, an expedition led by the UK, Spain, and Portugal is being prepared to ascertain the status of the Americas. It is important to note that travel to the continent is severely hampered by high thaumaturgic and hume levels throughout the oceans surrounding the Americas.